If you like our work, do consider paying for a subscription to the print. You can do so through the link in the description box below. For years, scientists have been intrigued by a dense molecular cloud located near the center of the Milky Way galaxy. Scientists have playfully nicknamed this region as the brick due to its rectangular shape and opacity. With most telescopes unable to peer through this dark region, it has remained a mystery for many years. Now, researchers in the US have used observations from the James Webb Space Telescope to unveil the composition of the brick. In this episode, I tell you all about the findings and why it changes what scientists thought they knew about the formation of stars and galaxies. I am Mohana Basu and this is Pure Science. In a recent study led by astronomers from the University of Florida, Groundbreaking findings shed light on a mysterious dark region at the center of the Milky Way. The turbulent gas cloud, playfully nicknamed the brick due to its opacity, has sparked lively debates within the scientific community for many years. The brick has been one of the most intriguing and highly studied regions of our galaxy. The primary reason for this is that it challenged the basic expectations that scientists have from such a dense cloud of gas. The region should ideally be spewing out more stars. Star formation begins in cold, dense molecular clouds composed mostly of molecular hydrogen and other trace elements. These clouds can have masses ranging from hundreds to thousands of times that of the Sun. Something triggers the collapse of a small region within the molecular cloud, such as a shock wave from a nearby supernova or a collision from another molecular cloud or some other disturbance. This collapse can be initiated by gravity acting on the cloud. As the region collapses under its own gravity, it forms a dense core called the protostar. This core continues to accumulate mass from surrounding material and its density and temperature increases. Once the temperature and pressure at the core of the protostar reach a critical point, nuclear fusion reactions begin. Hydrogen atoms in the core fuse to form helium, releasing a tremendous amount of energy. The star enters the main sequence phase where it achieves a stable equilibrium between the outward pressure from the nuclear fusion and the inward pull of gravity. This phase can last for millions to billions of years depending on the mass of the star. But the brick was not showing the kind of stellar activity that is expected from such thick gaseous clouds. To decipher its secrets, researchers from the University of Florida began to look through the data collected by the James Webb Space Telescope. The study published in the Astrophysical Journal highlights the need to reevaluate established theories regarding star formation. The James Webb Space Telescope has advanced infrared capabilities, which enabled the team to discover a substantial presence of frozen carbon monoxide there. The team found that this region harbors a significantly large amount of carbon monoxide ice than previously anticipated. Stars typically emerge when gases are cool and the significant presence of carbon monoxide ice should suggest a thriving area for star formation in the brick. Yet, despite this wealth of carbon monoxide, the structure defies expectations. The gas inside the brick is warmer than comparable clouds. These observations challenge our understanding of carbon monoxide abundance in the center of our galaxy and the critical gas to dust ratio there. According to the findings, both measures appear to be lower than previously thought. The researchers said that Webb telescope opens new paths to measure molecules in the solid phase. Traditionally, the observation of carbon monoxide has been limited to emissions from gas. In space, it is much easier to identify gases. When gases interact with radiation, such as light or radio waves, they absorb or emit specific wavelengths, creating characteristic lines in the spectrum. These spectral lines serve as fingerprints that can be used to identify the presence of specific gases. Many gaseous elements and molecules exhibit emission or absorption lines in their spectra. 
These lines are caused by transitions of electrons between different energy levels. Each element or molecule has a unique set of lines allowing astronomers to identify them by analyzing the spectrum of light they emit or absorb. Solid matter in space can be diverse and complex ranging from dust grains to rocky bodies. Identifying specific minerals or materials in solid objects often requires detailed analysis and their spectral signatures may not be as distinct or easily interpretable as those of gases. To unveil the distribution of carbon monoxide ice within this vast cloud, the researchers required intense backlighting from stars and hot gas. The idea is that when light passes through matter, some of it gets absorbed or reflected which reveals the properties of the material that it passes through. The team's findings move beyond the limitations of previous measurements which were confined to around 100 stars. The new results encompass over 10,000 stars, providing valuable insights into the nature of interstellar ice. Since the molecules present in our solar system today were, at some point, likely ice or small dust grains that combined to form planets and comets, the discovery also marks a leap forward toward understanding the origins of the molecules that shape our cosmic surroundings. These are just the team's initial findings from a small fraction of their uh, James Webb Space Telescope observations of the brick. Looking ahead, the team plans to carry out a more extensive survey of celestial ices.